I am a human. I belong to the earth. I came from space and time. I'm a machine. I'm here for some unknown reason, programmed to survive. I am a Liam, a sign and character. I had to fight like a lion for everything in life. I was always gentle and naive until the first time I got backstabbed with a knife. I am a son of dominant parents. I was kind and sensitive as a child. I'm self-observant and full of thoughts. My imagination runs wild. I'm the black sheep of the family. I'm the one who chose to follow his dreams. I'm not always practical, but I am ambitious, and I tend to go to extremes. I'm a brother for my two remaining siblings. I try to get better at it every day. It isn't easy to be happy when we're together since our older brother passed away. I was born six years after my brother Shadi and five minutes after Samah, my twin. Fighting for our parents' attention and acceptance made us develop a thick skin. I'm a curious soul in search of the miraculous, a student of the universe. I'm extremely attentive and I go deep. It's both a blessing and a curse. I'm a generous soul, motivated by strong emotions and a desire to give. I am kind, even to my haters. The meaning of my name is to forgive. I'm a man of words. I choose them carefully and I aspire to be direct. I'm usually transparent. The way I feel about something isn't hard to detect. I'm a natural performer. Just give me a mic, a crowd, and a stage. I'll never forget my first show. I felt like a beast unleashed from a cage. I am in a permanent search of meaning. I advocate for complexity, and I always try not to lie. I ask myself a lot of questions. The only thing I know for sure is that one day I will die. I'm in a permanent search for approval. I always feel like something is missing. As a rapper from unsupportive community, you can imagine people were dissing. I love to eat for the wrong reasons. It's almost like I disappear when food arrives. I'm also a huge basketball fan. I played professionally from age six to 25. I'm a hyperactive artist with ADHD, but I've learned to use it for my own good. When the stakes are high and stress kicks in, I function better than anyone else would. I'm a Jew. My grandparents were religious ones, and I'm familiar with the rituals and books. I love that moment before Shabbat dinner. I stomp the kitchen and taste everything mama cooks. I'm an Arab minority. My early identity crisis made me feel like I have no choice. I worked so hard and opened myself for different perspectives, and eventually I found my voice. I was once more connected to my Judaism. I saw it as a symbol of family, unity, and love, but the older I get, the more I drift away from it and try to look at things from above. I come from a diverse family. Some of us celebrate Ramadan and some decorate a Christmas tree. The older I get, I see all humans as one. No matter what religion, we all should be free. I'm egocentric. It took years to understand, a couple more to confess, but only now I take pride. I'm the only one that's going to stay with me forever, so I need to learn how to be on my side. Today, authenticity is very important to me. I talk straight. I have nothing to hide. I'm also a great host, a people's person. Trust me. Just come visit and enjoy the ride. We open up, trying to share who we really are. Many Uriahs and Samichs are calling out. The spotlight illuminates each one of them at a time, and in their turn, they shout. We create content and music, a call for social awakening, like we know what life is all about. At the same time, we believe in humble leadership of not knowing our compass is our doubt. We are in this together, very different but close friends who share the same hopes and feelings. Join our growing community and help us create a future with maximum good for maximum beings.